We're going to fix a common problem that occurs when doing a 3 inch lift on either a Toyota 4Runner or FJ Cruiser. And you're going to learn what that is and how to fix it right now. Doing a 2 to 3 inch suspension lift on our Toyotas is really very simple. Just bolt on longer coilovers in the front and springs and shocks in the rear. However, there's something that most people overlook when lifting the rear. Suspensions are all about geometry. When you change an angle, like this one we have here, the angles of other components are going to change too. Let me introduce you to the often overlooked and forgotten about pan hard bar. It attaches here to the frame and here to the axle housing. Without it, the suspension will just flop around side to side. This keeps the axle centered underneath the vehicle. With the stock suspension, this is meant to be level or straight across at ride height. When the suspension travels up and down, the axle has very little side to side action. When you put on a lift, however, this angle gets upwards of 4 degrees, like you see on ours. Not only is the axle now shifted over to the passenger side a little bit, the amount of sideways action when the suspension was traveling up and down is now greater. When we hit a good bump in the road, we feel our forerunner give a slight but noticeable shift to the right rear. You can buy an adjustable pan hard bar that will extend its length and get the axle more centered under the vehicle at ride height, but in fact, a longer bar makes the axle go sideways even more when the suspension is compressed. They make the situation worse. In the video description below, we'll provide a link to an article a friend of ours wrote that will explain it much better than we have time for in this video. We're going to fix that problem with this. It's a simple weld-on bracket that will put our pan hard bar back in that more level position. Installation is pretty straightforward. We first need to move this ABS line and take this clip right out of here. And then we'll check the fit, which it should be spot on. Yep. Yep, that fits perfect. Now we'll just get it welded on. As soon as we got home, we took the bar back off and gave that bracket a really thick coat of black spray paint. Then we bolted the bar back on, put all the weight on the rear suspension, then torqued the mount bolt to 96 foot-pounds. We should mention, since the old nut on the back side is welded on at the factory, the maker sends along a new one. And look at that. The pan hard is nearly straight across, exactly what we wanted. On the short drive home after getting it welded on, I did notice a definite improvement in the ride quality. I didn't notice any more of that subtle side shifting when hitting bumps. There you go. Problem solved. The right way. Don't forget to click on Dan's article in the video description below. If this is your first time watching one of our videos and you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the bell if you want to be notified. This video is brought to you by More Expo. Find out more about More Expo on their website.